obviously, um, you know, there was a situation where I've been at, I was asked to come out of the bullpen um, kind of toward, I think it was February of uh, this year towards the end of the season. And obviously I have a lot of uh, um, dedication and, and when someone asked me to do something for a program that has done so much for me, um, I didn't even hesitate at the opportunity to come in and help in any way that I can towards the end of last season. So um, that was my thought going in to be uh, at least come in and do what I can to help uh, finish up the season. Obviously, once I got here, um, it was a situation at the end of the season. Our season was cut short, uh, and Coach Arama asked me to uh, stay on um, for this season. And uh, to answer your question as far as how much convincing, um, it took some thought. You know, obviously, when I came back, um, I fell in love with being on the floor again, just seeing the growth in, uh, in the player development and seeing how I can impact um, the players and also help Coach Arama and the rest of the staff uh, in any way that I can, but I had also started to pursue a different career in leadership here on campus and administration so, and that I was enjoying the experience. I was learning a lot. Um, but um, again, you know, I felt um, the need was there. Um, I enjoyed it. And um, here I am again this season, hopefully, obviously without season being short, I get a chance to not only start a year, but knock on wood, finish a year this up upcoming season with our program and team. Well, I, I mean, the, my favorite part of coaches is, it, coaching is being on the floor, you know, seeing the player development, um, being able to um, go through it with them and see the progress that they make made. So when I first came back in February, um, I fell in love with being a coach again all over again, just to have the opportunity to be back on the floor. Um, so that's, that's, that's the, the one thing that I look forward to every day. Number one is being out on the floor, whether it's individual workouts or practice or just getting extra shots in. So I know the recruiting pieces and you know that, that comes with it. And obviously I have a lot of experience with it. Um, but the reason why I, start, I decided to stay on is two things, to help in any way I can to help our, our players be better players and people um, and also help Coach Ariama um, and the rest of the staff in any way that I can um, to help them. I think it's on two levels. Uh, one on a personal level in that I have, a, you know, I have a long relationship um, with Jay and, and, uh, and a comfort level with her and a tremendous amount of respect for, for her uh, personally and as a, as a, as a professional, as a basketball coach. So that was, that was a natural. Um, and, and that's what I, I take from, from our relationship more than anything else. And the basketball part is, is just having another person on the staff that has had that kind of experience as assistant coach and, and a head coach and, um, and being able to, um, to be another set of eyes that are experienced set of eyes. Um, the, the ability, I think, to, uh, to interact with the players uh, that made, you know, Jay so, uh, so integral to all the success that we had when she was here as a player and as a coach in her previous stint here, that hasn't gone away. It's, it's still there. I mean, the players on our team um, will probably all tell you that there's a, there's a way that she interacts with them that's just really unique and, and, and I love it. And, and so it, it, it's something that we're getting on, 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 on all levels, personally, professionally, um, with the players um, in, in, in every way. Um, I feel very, very fortunate to, to, have, to have her back.